What's up everybody, Jay here, and if you're playing the new God of War, I'm pretty sure you've already seen that it takes quite a bit of experience to level up all of Kratos' new weapons, and it doesn't really come all that fast. So I'm sure you're already thinking to yourself, how do I cheeseball my way to having a bunch of experience real fast? Well guess what? I've got a method for you. Now I will say, the method takes about an hour to do, but the bright side is you can do it at any part of the game. More importantly, you can do it from the very start of the game. So that's what I'm going to show you right now is how to literally get all of the XP for every weapon in the game within the first two fights. So you might want to grab a drink, turn on some music, but here we go. Now hopefully you've already seen that I just started a new game and through the power of editing you're not going to have to sit through all eight minutes of Kratos carrying a log. But I do want to explain real quick how this is going to happen. What we're going to be doing is using the systems of labor challenges in the game, which are just basically little bonus objectives to doing normal stuff like killing wolves or ogres or gathering treasures, or in our case, parrying attacks, and using the way this game does auto saves and checkpoints. But more on that when we get there. So after that eight minute highlight reel of why Kratos is going to win dad of the year, we get to the very first fight. Now don't worry about what the little tutorial says on how to do R1, R2, what you want to do here is hit L1, which is going to parry his attack. You do it right before he hits you. That's going to pop up the new labor that you get for quick reflexes. That is what's going to help us get XP. And now you see there's three stages to it. The only one that matters is gold, is finishing it off. But we do not want to finish it off in this fight. The point of the opening fight here is to get to 99 of 100. So prepare to do about 10 minutes of fighting here, or really just parrying his attacks. Now thankfully, when you hit 25 and 50, you will get a little pop-up, so you can keep track of it that way, but from 50 to 99, you will need to keep track of it on your own. So just periodically pop open your menu and look and see what number you're at, just to make sure you haven't lost count. I was super tired when I filmed this, so counting past 5 every time was difficult for me, so I had to check quite often. And if you want to speed it up a little bit, you can actually kill this first guy or start to kill him, and it'll start spawning a second one, and you can try to parry both attacks. The only problem is, your parry has kind of an AOE knockback, so it knocks back both guys, which doesn't really speed up the process way too much. But if you want to shave a few seconds off your time, go ahead and do that if you want to. And also, don't worry too much about your health here. Just as long as you don't die during this fight, you're fine. There's a health orb right on the other side of uh, Atreus here that you're going to be able to heal up with anyways. Plus, having health is not going to matter for the second fight. So as you can see here, at 98. So now I'm going to wait for number 99. Hurry up, attack. There we go, there's number 99, that's where you wanna stop and then start killing the guys that are gonna spawn here. Absolutely make sure you do not parry any of their attacks. If you can't dodge it in time, just take the hit. So now with that out of the way, just head back to Atreus here and you can see the little green health orb on the ground right behind him. Basically walk to that, if you need the health, go ahead and grab it, you don't have to if you don't need it. But more importantly, use that as your marker to know to turn right. You wanna take the right path here and take it all the way down. After you hop up the little ledges here, you're gonna take a small turn to the right, hop up one more ledge, and you're gonna go down the chain. So once you get down the chain, you're gonna be fighting two wolves, and by fighting, I mean you're gonna parry them one more time, and this is how you finish off your labor. So don't suck like me and get hit right away. Try to finish off your labor, and you'll get your 3,500 XP. So go into your menu, and you'll see that it's there up in the corner. Now, here is where the save and checkpoint feature comes in. Hit triangle, and do restart from checkpoint. Now when your game loads back in, you can go into the menu and you see you still have the experience, but watch this. Parry it, boom, labor complete, you get the experience again. Now all you're going to do is restart from checkpoint and just keep doing this over and over and over again. Now the reason for this is that the auto save and checkpoints and everything save at the end and beginning of fights, and the game itself keeps track of the rewards you get during the fights because you can actually spend your points during battle on skills. It saves it when you actually open up the menu. So what happens here is you go in and you parry and you get that experience. You open up the menu and it saves the experience you just got. But when you restart from checkpoint, it restarts you before you finish that challenge. So you can just keep doing it over and over and over and over and over and over again. And if you want to do this to get just enough experience for all the skills, 
it takes about 600,000 experience to buy all the skills in the game for all the different weapons. So this will roughly take you about 45 minutes to an hour or so, depending on if you want to get up and go get a drink, go to the bathroom, you're bored to death of doing this. But really, it's up to you on how much you want to get. If you just want a little bit of extra experience just to kind of boost you up, maybe just enough to do all the experience on the shield, or you want to get all 600,000, it's all up to you. There you go. It's as simple as that. Once you have all the XP you want, buy whatever skills you, you want to do, kill off these wolves, and then just move on with the game from there. Remember, you can do this at any point in the game with any of the other labors. So if you've already got the parry one complete and you can't use that or abuse that one, find a different one. Find the tripping one or maybe executions or maybe it is killing wolves and you found a good spot where you're at 29 of 30 wolves and there's two more right there. You'll just go in, kill that one wolf to complete it and restart checkpoint. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, leave a like, maybe subscribe. That way you can follow me. You can see when I'm streaming and putting up new videos here on YouTube. Come follow me on Twitch for other streaming and whatnot. Come follow me on Twitter so you know when I put up these videos or find out some of my idiotic opinions on things. And hopefully this did help you out. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Later.